What's up guys, it's your boy Demone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're talking about a new event that could potentially be coming here. Shouts out to Zinyet for leaking this on his Twitter, but this one is planned to happen here tomorrow, basically. Um, and with this event, it looks like you can work for Childland or Zhongli, and you guys can collect more. The total event rewards are going to be 200 Primo Gems and 50k Mora. So I'm assuming the Mora is going to be small increments, because even though it says as much more as you want, it doesn't look like we're getting <laughs> as much more as we want. Now, I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about uh, patch preparation, because I know you guys are all getting ready for patch 1.1, and you guys are probably curious as to what you guys will need in order to stack. Now, I will say this right out the gate, just in terms of preparation, if you guys are going to be crafting any of the items for detecting Geoculus, Animoculus, Treasure Chest, so on and so forth, uh, you guys will need, from what it looks like, quite a bit of magic ore. So, if you guys haven't been doing the ore routes to get your weapon XP ore, do that and get as much as you can to start stockpiling that. The rest of it looks like uh, some of them use flowers, so on and so forth. Uh, but you guys will be able to adjust to that as soon as you guys are ready. If you guys haven't seen my video where I talked about all of the character materials, we'll do a quick snapshot here uh, for you guys to have that. I hear you guys, a lot of free-to-play players are like, what's the point even preparing for these heroes, preparing for stuff, and getting stuff ready? So a lot of people really look at this you know, in kind of a negative light. But the reality is, is you just might actually end up pulling these heroes and they're also going to have events and you'll also probably end up getting free some in some way, some, somehow, some way, shape or form. So in the off chance that you do happen to pull these characters as a free to, free to play or my pay to win peeps out there who know for sure you guys are getting these heroes. There's a couple of things that you guys can start doing ahead of time to make this process a little bit more efficient. Now, what I invite you guys to do is when you guys start to farm gear or materials for these particular characters, you got to really start to think about, OK, what gear are you? going to be using for these heroes so the example we're going to use here is just because most of these characters have shields anyway we're just going to assume here just just by guessing that retracing bow light is probably going to be one of the most popular gear sets come 1.1 and for good reason. Uh, the reason being is with retracing bolide increases shield strength by 35%. And if you're rocking the four piece while protected by a shield, you gain an additional 40% normal and charge attack damage. It's going to be really, really strong on basically any hero that uses a shield. This is already strong on Noel. This is already going to be really, really effective for all of the heroes, of course, except for Child, because Zhongli, Xinyan, and Diona all come with the shield variation. So with that, Obviously, this could be a good one, and if you guys are going to start to farm this in preparation, this could really help you out. Now, what I mean is, when you guys, for my 40 plus people, if you guys are starting to farm these artifacts, you really got to look at how you can win or position, position yourself to win in more ways than one. And what I mean by that is, put yourself in a spot where, let's say if you guys are building Ningguang. If you guys are building Ningguang and you you know that already or you really like Ningguang because you've seen videos of her one-shotting bosses, then you set yourself up because you're farming for the set plus you're also getting more pieces that can also help you win. So if you start farming this ahead of time, basically now, essentially, it gives you more chances to get the gear that you need. And not only that, even if you don't get any gear that you need for my 40 plus peeps, this is going to really set you up to where you have a lot of artifact fodder. So when you do get the equipment that you are looking for, it's here and it's ready to go. In terms of my pay to win peeps that are already getting ready, if you guys are underneath level 40, okay, basically 30 to 40, 30 to 39, let's say for being specific, and you guys know that you guys are going to be spending money to get Zhang Li because you don't care and he's your super duper husbando hero, Big Dong Zhang, and you guys are looking for him, then what you guys are going to do is start to shift your focus towards your earth heroes and the reason why you're going to set yourself up here is because this is going to allow you to get all the materials that you need because for total mats you guys are going to need a crap ton of materials as you as you guys can see here you guys will need 168 core lapis alone a bunch of slime and a crap ton of fragments you guys can do the math and of course mora but this is just an idea for zhongli the same thing will apply for child's mats just in terms of water and stuff like that but if you guys are really going for zhongli it's going to really help you guys to start preparing now what this is also going to allow you to do for my 30 to 40 peeps is this is also going to give you a chance to start getting into your gladiator and wonders troop set although the artifact drop rate isn't so hot but at adventure rank 30 you start having more of a chance to get four star purple gear and at 35 you start to get guaranteed uh four star purple gear which again can help you gear your characters while still also preparing for zhongli 
if you guys are not into Zhongli and you guys are into Child, let's say if you guys have Mona or if you guys are building Barbara, then the same thing is going to apply here uh, with the mats that you guys are going to need for Water Heroes, and you can still put yourself in a position to win from my 30 to 39 or 30 to 40 peeps uh, to get your materials here as well. Now, in terms of Tartaglia, like I said, you, or Child, Chill, Chill, Childy, Childy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys will need basically the same amount of mats, just the water variation. Obviously, of course, you guys will need the cleansing heart. And then for child, he, he'll need the arrowheads. And of course, the conch shells, if you guys need those. But once you guys have established what it is that you guys need, the rest of it really just boils down to making sure you have sufficient mora and then, of course, sufficient character XP. If you guys are pay to win, you guys are going to be positioning this around your starter bundle, bundle supply and your Wayfarer's bundle, okay, to get your XP cards and your weapon XP, of course. Also followed by the Stardust Exchange, where you guys can get Adventure XP and then Mystic Enhancement Ore. For my free-to-play peeps, you guys are going to be focusing more on making sure you hit your mining routes, co-oping with friends to get your XP and get all the ore and stuff materials that you guys are going to need, because you're going to need the ore anyway if you guys are going to be crafting waypoints and stuff like that. I recommend utilizing the post uh, that I did in the video you guys can find the link to that video in the description box it also has a link to the article uh, that you guys can need to get to get all your f2p xp and all that stuff that you guys need to get ready to go uh, keep in mind that there is a 300k xp cap in terms of how much you can craft per day uh, so I would start crafting the weapon XP items if you guys are going to be needing to stack those ahead of time Especially for my free-to-play peeps so you guys could be more prepared now in terms of character XP How you guys are going to position for my free-to-play folks is you guys want to try to position yourself around the events that are going to be launching Because there's, I'm sure there's going to be a ton of events that come out So instead of burning all of your resin now uh, or resin refreshes or moons to try to get character XP ahead of time I'd recommend instead positioning yourself around the events because as you guys know the events usually give us a little bit more rewards for doing those versus the ley line so that way you guys can set yourself up to get multiple rewards based on whatever the events that got going on and the items that you need for character xp leveling if you guys are in a rush to focus on Zhang Li, Xin Yan, Diana, Diana and or Child the big thing is going to be to kind of go light on the resources that you're going to be spending now uh, so you don't kind of kick yourself in the ass because let's be honest um, if if you're f2p right now limited resources you're not really spending too many crazy mats right now anyway it'll be in your best interest to kind of start to stockpile mats and utilize the teams that you have now unless of course you're in a rush to complete current content I would still continue to find chests and level up, especially if you guys are under Adventure Rank 40, you know, but chests, quests, stuff like that are probably going to be the best way to do this. I'll release a video talking about the route that I've been running uh, for chest XP and stuff like that. It's been nuts, and you'll want to make sure that you have like 10 hours <laughs> or more to go get all these treasure chests. But other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of getting ready uh the big thing is just again getting your ascension maps ready uh which you guys pretty much should already have plenty of anyway if you guys have been gathering your materials throughout the world i, I wouldn't say that you forcefully have to farm talent materials or book materials unless you're pay to win and you guys absolutely intend on getting a specific hero then of course by all means go get the books ahead of time so you guys are ready to go outside of that though i mean it's just you know playing it by ear you know you're for free to play peeps you're going to play it by ear with the with the talent books and you're also going to play it by ear for the character xp and then uh, for the weapon XP, by all means, you guys should be doing that anyway. Pay to win or free to play. And for my pay to win cats, if you guys know you're getting the heroes ahead of time, then just go ahead and just start prepping now. I wanted to run back, talk about the, the individual materials that each one needs. For Child, he's going to need the blessings of... He's going to need Teachings of Freedom. He's also going to need the Sea Conch or the Star Conch shells. For Zhang Li, he's going to need Core Lapis. He's also going to need Teachings of Gold and also slime for Xin Yan, she's going to need the violet grass and you'll also need teachings of gold as well for her for diona you're going to need the arrowheads as well teachings of freedom and calla lilies if you guys haven't been collecting those so anyway guys uh just a quick video today i just wanted to let you guys know about a potential event that could be coming soon we'll see if it drops tomorrow and then of course i wanted to let you guys know about I wanted to give you guys some things that you guys could start doing now in order to prep yourself for the upcoming patch here in about 10 days. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.